English sprechen Quatsch. He just said, thank you very much. Go find your happy. <laughs> When you discuss visiting Germany, many think of Berlin or Munich, but I'm telling you, Hamburg has to be a stop on your next trip to Europe. The first thing you'll notice are the steeples that fill the skyline, and St. Michael's Church is where you'll see everything. You can make your way up to the top of the church tower, 40 stories high, for a panoramic view of the city. Oh, that was it? That's it. One bell for you. This bird's eye view makes you think Hamburg is a very large city, but it's actually itty bitty. Get ready to become a kid again in the magical universe known as Miniature Wonderland. There are over 230,000 miniature figurines, including a fully functional airport, the Vegas Strip, Kennedy Space Center, a grand theater, and boy, did they pay attention to detail. It's starting. The way he moves is so sultry. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Love Boat, or in Germany, we like to call it the Traumschiff. You like that translation? Hamburg is actually one of the biggest harbors in Europe, and that means tons of beautiful waterways and bridges, so you better find your way onto a boat cruise. I really feel like I'm getting a feel for Hamburg here. Going up and down the canals, there's over 2,000 bridges in this city. It's stunning to see it on the water. Okay, I know what you've all been thinking. Is Hamburg home of the Hamburger? After many failed internet searches, I decided to do a little investigating with my taste buds at the 90-year-old traditional German restaurant, Oberhofen Canteen. Now, the thing about this place is the whole building is crooked, and the best part is, the door opens itself. They make what is argued to be the original hamburger, known in Germany as the Hamburger Rundstuck. Thickly sliced pork covered in gravy served up on a soft, warm bun. That gravy is magic. I didn't want this day to end, so I thought I'd keep it going with a little nightcap back at my hotel where the bartender served me up some traditional Hamburg gin. Michelle, I know you're from here, and I just gotta say, I love Hamburg. Like, I, I wanna live here. Really? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you must go uh, to the fish market. It's on uh, five o'clock on a Sunday. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to a fish market on a Sunday. On Why a would su I, at five? Why would I do that? You can uh, play music, you can drink beer, wine. Oh, so this is like a party. It's like a party. On a Sunday morning. On a Sunday morning. I have to try that out. But until then, might as well sit and have some good gin, right? Prost. Prost. <laughs> Not only is it 5 a.m., but it's raining. But if the Germans can do it, we can do it. Local vendors from all over Hamburg sell an assortment of seafood, flowers, pastries. I'll have a papaya. We have what? a papaya there. Oh, you do? Yeah. You're perfect. Make sure you try the crowd favorite, a Bach fish sandwich. Bach fish with Ah, thank you. Here you go. Nothing beats a fish sandwich at five in the morning. And to top it all off, head to the auction hall for a cold glass of beer where it's clear everyone has found their happy. Oh!